you want to see how I rendered the skirt wall, stick around and I'll show you. First step is to get some prime on these cement boards and this is what we use but make sure you get it well primed and let it dry before you start any rendering. Now it's time for the base coat and we use this high performance base coat from Johnson's made by Storm Shield. It's absolutely brilliant stuff. I do try and put it as smooth as possible but to be fair the render is quite forgiving and you can always go over it make sure it's nice and smooth. Now let's make something clear before we carry on. I'm not advertising for Johnson's or Storm Shield. This isn't an advert, it's just a product that I'm using and that's why I'm explaining what I'm using and how I'm using it. Right, so this is the first coat of your base coat and then we put the mesh on and we're trolling that down, trolling it in and we use the Storm Shield mesh as well. You can use other mesh to be quite honest with you, you don't need to use this one. So you are going to give this a second coat on top of it before you sponge it down. So after the mesh I put another coat on and now I'm sponging it down nicely getting all the imperfections out of it and get it as flat as possible with the sponge so that when it comes to do the final coat, we don't have to struggle. We've got a nice clean and neat surface to work on. This coat all done, all it needs is a bit of drying time before we do final coat. Final coat, which is the silicone enhanced render 1.5 millimeter. This stuff is doddle, honestly, it's absolutely amazing. It does take a bit getting used to when applying at first, but to be quite honest with you, it's absolutely cracking stuff and it's very forgiving. I mean, you are gonna trowel it all nice and flat and then you are gonna rub it down in circular motions to give it a nice texture. So it's gonna be absolutely brilliant. Obviously. Now if you do use this render just remember that you're not to go over 1.5 millimeter thickness. It is designed to be a maximum of 1.5 mm thick and if you do put it too thick when it comes to rubbing it down you're gonna struggle a little bit. So this is the part where you start rubbing your render down in circular motions and you get a nice and flat and you get this perfect texture on it. Some people like smooth render, I can't stand smooth render really, this just gives it the perfect texture. The beauty about this render you can actually choose the color you want it in. I mean they've got so many colors for you to choose from. This was quite a long video, so thank you very much for sticking around. And if you want to see more stuff like this, consider following, because I'll definitely be putting out more content like this. And let me know in the comments what you think about my rendering.